Greetings, nonprofit leaders. Today on this channel, we're diving deep into a topic that's often overlooked but absolutely crucial how to boost team morale and show genuine appreciation to your hardworking staff as a nonprofit leader, especially as we approach the year end. Your team is the backbone of your organization and acknowledging their efforts is paramount. Join me as we explore the five impactful strategies to encourage and appreciate your staff during this crucial time. An area that's often overlooked by nonprofit leaders is the area of team morale. As leaders, we get so busy by the day-to-day -day operations, especially during the craziness of year-end, that we often forget those people working alongside us who sacrifice so much. I've developed a list of five key strategies you can employ to encourage and appreciate staff at year end. They are as follows. Strategy number one, recognition and acknowledgement. Year end can be particularly hectic and it's easy for the day-to-day -day efforts of your staff to go unnoticed. To counter this, take the time to genuinely recognize and celebrate their hard work. This goes beyond a generic pat on the back. Consider public shout outs in team meetings, acknowledgement in internal newsletters, or even creating a wall of appreciation in your office space. One of the things that we do is we give electronic appreciation, we call them bill bucks, and they add up to appreciate people. Moreover, personalization is key. Tailor your recognition to each staff member's contributions. Highlight specific achievements, projects, or even personal milestones. When your team feels seen and valued, it not only boosts morale, but also fosters a positive and motivating work environment. Strategy number two, professional development opportunities. Investing in your staff's professional development is a powerful way to show appreciation and commitment to their growth. As we approach year end, it's an excellent time to discuss individual career goals and aspirations. Consider offering workshops, training sessions, or even financial support for relevant courses. This not only enhances their skills, but also communicates your commitment to their growth and success. Furthermore, providing opportunities for cross-functional learning and collaboration can invigorate your team. Encourage them to share their learnings with the group, foster a culture of continuous improvement and shared success. Strategy number three, flexible work arrangements. In today's dynamic work landscape, flexibility is highly valued and offering it as a gesture of appreciation can go a long way. As we approach year end, consider providing flexible work arrangements. This could include remote work options, adjusted work hours, or even compressed work weeks. Recognize that your team members have different needs and responsibilities outside of work. Providing flexibility demonstrates empathy and trust, contributing to a healthier work-life balance, and in turn can lead to increased job satisfaction and productivity. Strategy number four, Team building activities. Year end can be st a stressful period and injecting some fun into the workplace is crucial. Team building activities are an excellent way to strengthen the relationships, boost morale, and create lasting memories. These activities could range from a team retreat to simple in-office games or virtual events. Tailor the activities to preferences 
and comfort levels of your team. The key is to create an environment where everyone feels included and can relax. This not only fosters better teamwork, but also builds a positive and supportive workplace culture. Strategy number five, meaningful rewards and incentives. Last but certainly not least, consider meaningful rewards and incentives for your staff. While financial bonuses are always appreciated, thinking beyond the traditional can make a significant impact. Consider personalized gifts, extra time off, or even experiences tailored to each individual's interests. The key is to make the reward meaningful and personalized. This shows that you've put thought into the acknowledgement, reinforcing the idea that each team member is a valued part of the organization. This personal touch can make a significant impact on team morale and motivation. And there you have it, nonprofit leaders, five powerful strategies to encourage and appreciate your staff as we approach year end. Remember, your team is the heart of your organization and their dedication deserves to be acknowledged and celebrated. By implementing these strategies, you not only boost morale, but you also create a positive and thriving work environment. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there were things that you especially liked or if there are topics you'd like to address. And let this community of life changers know that you're part of making a difference in our world. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next video. If you wish to follow me on Twitter, go to Jim W. Dempsey, or on Instagram, also go to Jim W. Dempsey, or if you have questions related to fundraising, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java. If you wish to be part of a community of like-minded leaders, join our Life Changers group on Facebook. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.